It would be a mistake for others to look upon Berlin because of its location as a tempting target. The United States is there. The United Kingdom and France are there. The Pledge of NATO is there. And the people of Berlin are there. It is as secure in that sense as the rest of us. For we cannot separate its safety from our own. The solemn vow we each of us gave to West Berlin in time of peace will not be broken in time of danger. If we do not meet our commitments to Berlin, where will we later stand? If we are not true to our word there, all that we have achieved in collective security which relies on these words will mean nothing. And if there is one path above all others to war, it is the path of weakness and disunity. Sum it all up. We seek peace, but we shall not surrender. That is the central meaning of this crisis and the meaning of this government of politics. Your help and the help of other free men, this crisis can be surmounted. Freedom can prevail and peace can endure. All right. Thank you for joining us for the reading of The House of Yes by Wendy McLeod. Please remember to mute your microphones and turn off your video. Thank you and enjoy the show. The House of Yes, a suburban Jacobine play. Scene one, sound of a hurricane lights up on Jackie O furiously yearning, uh, hurling the furniture. Anthony enters and watches her long pause. It looked better before. It's all gonna get blown away anyway. Are you gonna move the TV? Too many wires. Good. I wanna watch the football game. What football game? Any football game. Help me move this coffee table. Move it where? In front of the sofa. Nah, that's no good. That's where coffee tables go, in front of sofa, in front of sofas. Help me masking tape the windows. Are you gonna put up those crosses? Yeah. Uh, the Kennedys aren't even putting up crosses on their windows. They could really care. They have 10 other houses. It's like wearing garlic, those crosses. It was on the news. It can't hurt. Yes, it can. It goos up the windows. Did Marty call? Last night. I know last night. Did Marty call today? He's bringing a friend. What? He said he's bringing a friend. Male or female? I don't know. What did he say exactly? He said, tell mom I'm bringing a friend. Why not me? Why not tell Jackie I'm bringing a friend? Uh, groceries. What? I, I think it pertained to groceries, bedrooms, like that, logistics. What else did Marty say? He said, hello, Anthony. I said, yeah, Marty. He said, yeah. We said, hey. Marty said, hey. What? Not like, hey, like, hey, but like a noise, a noise of jubilation. 
Marty was jubilant? At that point in the phone call? Or at least he was doing a fair impersonation of jubilant? Marty was pretending to be jubilant? Oh my God, what's wrong with Marty? And who is this friend? And who is this friend? Exactly. Then what did he say? He said, how you doing? I said, good. It's how are you phone. doing? He said, good. Oh, but he was lying. He's not good. He hates New York. He's coming home. For Thanksgiving. For good. Did he say that? I don't know. Did he? No. How come nobody told me about his friend? Miss Pascal enters carrying a cocktail. Jackie, did I tell you your brother's bringing a friend? What kind of friend? I don't know. Marty's never had a friend before. Who taped up the windows? I did. I saw it on the news. That tape leaves goo. It goos up the windows. Goo is what tape is all about. Goo is what makes it tape instead of paper. A person offers a little constructive criticism and a person gets lectured on the nature of things. I came in to ask a question, but I can't think of what it is. Oh, Anthony, did I make up the guest room? How should I know? A person asks a civilized question and a person gets thrown to the lions. I'll go up and check. Is this a bowl? Yes. Is it a bowl relevant to us in any way? Uh, no, no. Then turn it off. I don't want electrical things on. Hmm. Anthony, did you give your sister her medication? Huh? Did you check under her tongue? Miss Pascal exits. We're... Were you excited when I came home? That was different. You were dropping out of college. A good college. So why did you leave? With Marty gone, who was gonna take care of you? Mama. Yeah, right. I hear his car. I hear Marty's car. You can't hear cars. There's a hurricane. Oh, where's my brush? I had a hairbrush right here. Uh, what did it look like? It looked like a hairbrush, like a brush you brush your hair with. Re-entering. Was it pink? Yes, it was pink. God damn it, it was pink. It was pink and now it's gone. I put it upstairs. I didn't want it around the food. It wasn't around the food. The food is in the kitchen. It was on the same floor as the food. Oh, I, I have a comb. I don't want a comb. I want a brush. Combs just straighten your hair out. I want it to gleam. It is gleaming. It is not. It is, it is. I need sunglasses almost. It is? It is. A wind blows into the house as Marty and Leslie enter, bedraggled and wet. Jackie O sees only Marty. She runs to him and straddles her legs around. Marty! <laughs> Jackie. Uh, uh, Leslie, this is Jackie O, my mother, Anthony. Meet Leslie. <laughs> Leslie and I are engaged. <laughs> I have to find my hairbrush. <laughs> I have a comb. Marty, you're a wreck. I was in a hurricane. I just came in from a hurricane. Marty, you look thin. Are you thin? You look so thin. Oh my God, I sounded like a mother. Didn't I sound like a mother? You are a mother? I know, and I still can't believe it. I look at you people and I wonder, how did you fit in my womb? Now, Marty, there's some leafer milch in the kitchen. Why don't you go pour us a nice glass of leafer milch? Anthony, Can't I? You go too. Uh, you can smell the cork or something. 
Can't I stay here? No, you cannot. This is girl talk in here. I like girl talk. Well, if you were here, it wouldn't be girl talk, would it? Do I have to smell the cork? No, darling. You just have to do something in some other location. Anthony and Marty exit. Oh. <laughs> you have a lovely home. Home? Your house. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, it was. Uh, I mean, it is. I mean, it will be until we all get blown away. We'll all get blown away to Oz or something. <laughs> that was a tornado. What? In Wizard of Oz? Uh, it was a tornado, not a hurricane. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> My. <laughs> How long have you known Marty? Uh, about six months. And you know him pretty well, do you? Oh, I don't know. I think so. I guess you've met a lot of Marty's girlfriends. <laughs> Not really. Oh, I hope I'm the first fiance. <laughs> well, definitely the first, the very first. <laughs> And I hope the last. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I had one great passion in my life. Do you know who that was? Your husband. My husband, precisely. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was my one great passion until he was gone. Until he was gone, my one great passion was the man I met that night at a party. My one great passion was any man I met that night at a party who could use a new adjective to describe me. I have no idea who my children belong to. All I know for sure is that Jackie and Marty belong to each other. Jackie's hand was holding Marty's penis when he came out of the womb. The doctor swore to me. It's in some medical journal somewhere. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll go freshen up now. Do. By <laughs> all means, you're drenched. Hmm. To Anthony offstage. Anthony, did I put clean towels out on the bed? Entering. How should I know? Go and see. And show Leslie to her room. And show her how to jiggle the toilet so it doesn't run. Anthony and Leslie exit. Marty enters with a tray of wine glasses. Marty, a word. A word, Mama, or many words. Now don't get snippy at me, Marty. You've been in this house exactly 37 seconds and you're already snippy. It's no wonder your father died young. He simply had it with all the snippiness. A person can die a slow death from being snipped at year after year. The way he said solid when he meant salad. And the two of you would not let it go, like a puppy with a rag doll or the time he missed the exit on the 495. Those things happen on interstates. Mistakes are made. That's what those no U-turn places are for. Daddy didn't die a slow death. Let's stick to the subject. I have no idea what the subject is. Well, I'll tell you what the subject is not. No, Mama, that's too broad a category. Tell me what the subject is. You, a fiance, here, why? I love her, and I'm trying to follow procedure. Do you love her for any particular reason? Why? You didn't like her? I talked to her for exactly 37 seconds, Marty. Who is she? What does she do? She's a waitress at the Donut King on 14th Street. Men don't marry girls. Men don't marry girls who smell like powdered sugar. They have a sweet little affair with them that they recall fondly in their twilight years. Don't be such a snob. Your sister has been out of the hospital less than six months. Last week, she nearly lost it because the seltzer water was flat. And you bring a woman home, not just a woman, a fiance, an anti-Jackie. Are you trying to push your sister over the edge? No. Just what then are you trying to do? 
be normal? Well, it's a little late for that, young man. Do you want us to leave? Yes, I want you to leave at once without further ado, as soon as the storm lets up. If you don't, I'll take away your sheets, your towels, everything. What, what do I tell Leslie? Tell her the truth. The truth? That your sister's insane. She'll understand. Don't say insane. She's, she's ill. If she were ill, I could give her an aspirin. I could put her to bed. I could make that soup you're supposed to make. Chicken noodle? That, alas, I cannot. I mean, I can make the soup, for heaven's sakes, it comes in a can, but I cannot make her well. I've tried, but to no avail. To no avail? What was that? I'm getting dramatic. Well, stop it. I thought it was better that I come and tell her myself. It would be better if you didn't tell her at all. It would be better if there was nothing to tell. If there is anyone present who knows why this marriage should not take place, it is me. Why? Why what? Why shouldn't the marriage take place? You know why. Tell me. Excuse me. I'm going to baste the turkey and hide the sharp objects. She exits, crossfade, scene two, the guest bedroom. So, uh, these are the towels. Uh, do you like them? Because I can get you others. Uh, we've had black ones with Roman scenes on them. <laughs> That's okay. These are dry. That's the only thing. <laughs> This is just from the car to the door. Can you believe it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a hurricane. <laughs> I know. Hmm. I curled my hair this morning with a curling iron. <laughs> and now look. I always thought a curling iron was shaped like an iron. No, it's shaped like a hot dog. Huh, I know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, this is supposed to be waterproof mascara. You look lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, did, I, did I show you the toilet thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just you jiggle, just it. jiggle it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, hasn't, it hasn't worked right since Jackie flushed the lizard. The lizard? Uh, Marty's lizard. Marty has a lizard. Had. Had a lizard. It got in there by mistake? No. On purpose. <laughs> it liked the water. I guess. Uh, Jackie put it in there. And then she forgot. No. Uh, she remembered. She flushed him on purpose? I think she was jealous. Marty loved that lizard. It turned different colors and... Uh, well, I, I guess you want to do your mascara or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there's bobby pins in the bureau because of Emily Post and all. She stayed here? Oh, no. Uh, she said a hostess should do her hair in every guest bedroom to see if there was a, a, enough light. So my mom did that. And there was. So if you want to do your hair, you're set. <laughs> I do. What? Want to do my hair? Because of the rain and all. <laughs> uh, it looks nice the way it is. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, well, I guess I'll see you at dinner. I hope you like turkey, because that's what we're having. <laughs> yes, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I show you the uh, toilet thing? Yeah. And, and the towels? 
they're here. <laughs> Could you just check and see if there's sheets? Because my mother was all distracted and. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there are. And pillows? Anthony, I don't mean to be unpolite, <laughs> but I'm kind of tired and all, so. Oh, you know, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's just, we've never had a guest before. Never? Never. Blackout, scene three, the guest bedroom. Leslie is hurriedly getting dressed for dinner. Marty stands where we last saw Anthony. Hmm. The toilet's running. Oh, did, did you? Yes, but. It'll stop eventually. It's making a noise. I, I can't hear it. <laughs> It was. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't like these shoes. They look fine. They skid. I nearly skidded. Come here. No. Why not? Lipstick. Reapply. We don't have to stay here. Marty. What? It's Thanksgiving. Nobody cares. But we drove all the way we from- Drive back, we could uh, watch the parade. It's, it's rained out. Says who? The news. They showed Bullwinkle blowing. He nearly came undone. See, now that would be something to see. <laughs> Where do you think he'd end up? I don't know. Out of mm -hmm. space. <laughs> Somebody's backyard, probably. Oh, let go. I love your shoes. <sighs> Stop. You've met them. They've met you. Let's go. Well, they gave me towels and bobby pins and everything bobby pins <laughs> it would be rude they won't care they don't like me they they love you oh i wore the wrong clothes no i was in a hurricane you know a, a person can't look all when it's raining and blowing and just- You looked beautiful, you are beautiful. Kiss me. They're your family. You're my family. Not yet. Blackout, scene four, the guest bedroom. Jackie O stands where we last saw Marty. Did Marty tell you about me? Oh, yes. What did he tell you? He told me how you were. How's that? <laughs> you know, glamorous. <laughs> I spend most of my days with my head in the toilet bowl. Well, uh... Throwing up pills. <laughs> oh. I can't think when I take the pills. And a person needs to think. I mean, if a person can't think, what are they? Why are you taking pills? The doctors make me. Have you talked to them? About not being able to think and all? Oh, they just think I was crazy, not taking my pills. Most doctors are men, you know, and they think we're all perpetually premenstrual. <laughs> well, um, we are. Except when we're actually having it, you know. The visitor. <laughs> the visitor? Well, that's what I call it. Um, Are you saving yourself for marriage? How do you mean? Blood on the sheets, 
all that? Well, we live together, Marty and me. That must be hard, saving yourself from marriage when you live together. Well, I'm not saving myself. No. <laughs> uh, do you think I should have? If I were getting married, I'd want to check out the goods. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and how were they? The goods. Marty? <laughs> I can't describe it. I could. What? What's the wildest place you've ever made love? With Marty? Yes. <laughs> I can't talk like that about your brother. Kendi's not my brother. I do. Well, one time. What? <laughs> I can't. Why not? It's embarrassing. If you don't tell me, I'll just get it out of Marty. He would never. <laughs> what? Talk like that. Marty and I tell each other everything. Everything? Yes. Uh, did he tell you about his other girlfriends? Did he tell you about his other girlfriends? Uh, there was one, he said. Did he tell you about her? No. What was she like, the girl? She wasn't a girl. She was a woman. She was older than Marty? No, they were almost exactly the same age. Oh, talk about glamorous. She was glamorous. I thought so. <sighs> Is she still here in Washington? Oh, very much so. Oh, I wonder. What? No, <laughs> it's none of my business. What? But he plans to see her while he's home. Well, why didn't he marry her? He couldn't. Why not? It was a family thing. The families objected? Something like that. Oh. He never told me. Men and their secrets. Well, not all men have secrets. We all have our secrets. Crossfade, scene five. To the living room where Anthony sits alone, Marty enters. Where's Jackie at? Hi, uh, in her room. What's she doing there? I don't know, brushing her hair. How is uh, how is she doing? I don't know. She's in her room. I mean, I mean, generally. In general. Yes. Uh, good. I mean, good for Jackie. What does she do all day? I don't know. I mean, what does anybody do all day? What do you do all day? What do I do all day? What do you do all day? I don't know. I guess that's why people keep diaries. Uh, so they know. Uh, she reads books. What kind of books? Assassination books? How many assassination books can there be? A lot. Uh, Lincoln, McKinley, Kennedy, King, Kennedy, Kennedy. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> and she watches soap operas. Uh, she likes it especially when uh, they have a character that that actress leaves the show and a new actress steps in and becomes the character and nobody on the show notices any difference. They treat that character exactly the same as before. Jackie watches soap operas. I guess you heard about the seltzer water thing. Yeah, that was the last big 
you know it was flat yeah like when somebody doesn't screw the top back on so what'd she do well she started screaming about bubbles how there were no bubbles so she started boiling the seltzer water and then when the water started bubbling she poured the boiling water back into the seltzer water bottle but it was plastic and so it started to melt kind of melted into her hand where she had to go to the hospital emergency room for third degree burns and on the way home whenever mom and i asked her a question she'd stop giving her she'd tell us to stop giving her the third degree and she'd kind of laugh hysterically so she's not what exactly you'd call recovered do you think i should stay entering yes yes i do uh you're not supposed to uh have that what the wine isn't there enough there's enough but she's not supposed to have that wine why not because of her medication uh, not this medication anthony the one before i couldn't drink they switched me i used to be orange now i'm blue i wanted pills to match my eyes <laughs> color me beautiful mama wants us to leave she's afraid i'm gonna push you over the edge i've been over the edge now i'm back Leslie doesn't know about the hospital. Oh? So she knows about the hospital, but not what kind of hospital. Does she know about your hospital? Sort of. Let me guess. You had your appendix out. You did? Oh. Hey, Marty, you want to show me your scar? No. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to maim you. I only meant to kill you. These things happen. I've noticed Anthony wears a lot of layers around me, don't you, Anthony? Look at him. He's got a t-shirt, a vest, and a jacket. I'm wearing the jacket because it's Thanksgiving. You weren't wearing it before. I put it on after Marty got here. It looks nice. Huh. I got it at the treasure trove. I think it actually belonged to a Kennedy. <laughs> Why? Is there a bullet hole? Jackie. The lady said Mrs. Kennedy donated a bunch of stuff. She was pretty sure this was in the Kennedy batch. Hmm. You see, Marty, you've turned the household upside down. Anthony went out and bought a jacket. I went to a lot of trouble to get sane, so you just can't leave. Leslie, on the other hand, is free to go at any time. Oh, I've never been to a hurricane before. Have you? Yes. Yes. When? It was before you were born. We went to Virginia Beach and our motel was right on the water. Mom and dad were drinking rum and Pepsi out of styrofoam cups and giggling. <laughs> All the good things happened before I got born. Mm, ugh, this wine is not very cold. Yeah, mom forgot to put it in the ice box. I wish I had a piece of ice. I'll get you one. Don't you go, Anthony. Marty, fetch me a piece of ice, will you? I'll get one for you. Marty's been in the car all day. I'm sure he'd leap at any opportunity to stretch his legs. He doesn't even know where we keep the ice. Anthony, everyone knows where you keep the ice. Are you going to be good when Leslie comes down? Uh, Marty, I'm the hostess. Marty exits. And make sure it's cold. She's pretty, isn't she? Who? Who do you think? I guess. She doesn't seem to be Marty's type. Do you think she seems to be like Marty's type? I don't know. Now you and she 
would make a cute couple. Why? I'll bet you're just the same age. They're married, Jackie. She's got a ring. And Tiffany's? I don't know. I think she has a sneak for you. Stop. I do. She's engaged. Marty enters carrying an ice cube. <gasps> oh, Anthony, look. Isn't that the prettiest ice cube you've ever seen? It used to be bigger. I wondered what happened. Whatever it was, it happened between the kitchen and you. Look, Marty, your hands are all wet. Now that's a clue. Entering. It probably melted <laughs> on the way. Oh my. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Is that an evening dress? I don't know. <laughs> it certainly looks like an evening dress. It's very pretty. <laughs> oh. I dressed for dinner. Would you like a glass of Liebfraumilch? Oh, no, thank you. I'll just have a glass of wine. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the name of wine. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't speak French. <laughs> Who does? Uh, you do. Oh, that's right, I do. What does the name mean? In French, I think it means something in German. Oh. It means a loving mother's milk. <laughs> you speak French? No, uh, German. <laughs> I know how to say I love you in sign language. Oh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. <laughs> Ooh, don't you leave this girl alone with any handsome deaf mute, Marty. That's my advice to you. Jackie. Tell me, Leslie, have you ever been to Washington before? Um, no. Not even on a field trip? Not even on your fifth grade field trip? No. I mean, my class went, but I didn't go. In fifth grade, really? Uh, sixth, sixth grade. So you just snubbed it. You just snubbed your nation's capital. My parents wouldn't let me go. Well, what's their number? What? How could they have ruined a perfectly good field trip? Really, people like that burn me up. Don't they burn you up, Marty? We didn't have the money. <sighs> what a lie. How much could have it cost? Too much. Too much. Were you, were you poor, Leslie? Did you eat chicken pot pies? Hmm. Pancake. Mmm. Pancakes. A lot of pancakes. <laughs> pancakes, Marty. How did you pull yourself out? Out of poverty, I mean. I left Pennsylvania. That was a step in the right direction, clearly. Uh, do they have paintings in Pennsylvania? Jackie. Well, Marty. I've never been to Pennsylvania. I've never even met anybody who's been to Pennsylvania, much less been from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is just this state that gets in your way when you have to go someplace else. Why do they call you Jackie O? Well, we went to an Ides of March party. I 
went as Jackie Onassis in a pink Chanel suit and a pillbox hat and blood on my dress. Blood? And other stuff, too, like macaroni kind of glued on, like brains. I don't think that's funny. Nobody else did either. Nobody talked to me all night. I talked to you. Yes, you talked to me, Marty. <sighs> Jackie O wants to drink, drink. Ooh, let's drink rum and Pepsi out of styrofoam cups. Come on, darling. Let's drink rum and Pepsi out of styrofoam cups. Bring in some ice. You're out of ice. How can we be out of ice? You almost forgot to fill the ice trays. I just gave you the last cue. I thought this was the modern world. I thought in the modern world, a person could get whatever they wanted. The Pepsi's cold. It's not the same. I'm talking about ice. I'm talking about texture. I'm talking about texture. And the last hurricane, we had ice. Mama and Dada had a bucket of ice and a cooler down the hall. We just marched down the hall whenever we had a yearn for us. Jackie. Jackie O. Marty's here. A person gets her heart set on a certain thing. Yes. yes. A person gets her heart set on a certain thing. Yes. And if a person can't get the thing her heart is set on, a person goes insane. I suppose you think I'm going insane just to be fashionable. I don't think you're insane. You don't think I'm insane? No. You don't think I'm just an incy, wincy bit insane? I don't think you're insane. I think you're spoiled. <laughs> oh, please. People are going to start telling the truth, and I'm going to bed. The lights flicker and then go out. Pause. Does this happen a lot? Every hurricane. We bought emergency candles. They're right in this drawer. Enter Miss Pascal. Anthony, did we remember to buy matches? Nobody buys matches. People find matches. People buy matches, Anthony, but not people like us. People like us forget to buy matches. Oh, you could light them on the stove. Electric, electric stove. Oh my God. What? Dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. There's matches in the bathroom. Marty exits into the bathroom. Why are there matches in the bathroom? For the smell. When somebody does one? That's not why they're in the bathroom. It's not? It's for my scent candle. It is? When somebody does one? <sighs> Re-entering. Uh, I got them. Uh, where's the candles? If I had put the turkey in one hour earlier, we'd be impervious. Oh, we ate at McDonald's anyway. What? Oh, on the way, at a rest stop? Well. We got hungry. Does anyone want cranberry sauce? Just cranberry sauce? You can eat it raw. Oh, it's not really raw. It's been pre-cooked. 
Jackie, is that a drink you're drinking? This drink? Yes. No. Anthony, is that a drink she's drinking? It's sleep for Milch. You take it away from her. She said she switched medication. She's mistaken. Take it away. Jackie, you look tired. Why don't you go to bed? I get bored in bed. Well, I'm going to bed, and I think everyone else should do the same. It's still early. There's no television and no food. What is there to stay up for? Conversation. Oh, that. That only gets you in trouble. Take it from one who knows. Give me a candle. I shall light my way. Never mind. I'll just curse the darkness. Miss Pascal exits. It's been a long day. Not as long as yesterday. Yesterday was 24 hours. I meant with the traveling and all. It's no easier staying in one place. Take it from someone who knows. That wise. I think that was wise. I knew it would happen. One day I'd wake up and just be wise. One day I woke up stupid. You did? It was terrible. What did you do? I went back to sleep. That was wise. I'm tired, Marty. Oh, I'm going up now. Are you coming up? Uh, soon. Leslie hesitates for a moment and then exits. Anthony calls after her. Uh, clean towels and washcloth are laid out on the bed. Uh, yell down if you need anything. I uh, got your letter. Oh? I forgot <laughs> his name. Uh, the one who was bad in bed. Who was lousy in bed? But to be lousy in bed, you have to be in bed, don't you? Who was lousy in bed? That actor. Peter? Peter was lousy in bed. I can't believe it. Tell me about Peter, Anthony. Ha. He wears black. He has a gap between his teeth. His eyes are green. And he like, and uh, one eye is squinty, like sexy, not disfigured. He's in love with Jackie, you can tell. If he gets to hold her coat for her, his heart breaks into a million pieces on the floor. Oh, so Peter's in love with Jackie O. Don't use that word. The word. Love. Love is for tiny people with tiny lives. Peter and I have nothing in common. Now, you and I, Marty, have a great deal in common. A parent, DNA, bone structure. He doesn't look like he'd be lousy in bed. Now, Anthony, we have something to tell you. Uh, let's, let's talk about Anthony. Uh, let's, let's express some familial concern about Anthony. Now, Anthony, why aren't you at school? I dropped out. You dropped out. Ah, yes, I know. Why did you drop out, Anthony? Why did you go with her, Marty? Excuse me, Anthony, but we're talking about you right now. We're expressing familial concern. No, you're not. We're not. You're playing the familial concern game. Oh, Anthony, don't be sincere. It's déclassé. I hear you crying at night alone in your room. I hear her crying alone at night in her room. You cry at night alone in your room? Don't make fun of her. I won't let you make fun of her, though. I was going to make fun of her. I was going to ask her what she cries about. Well, you want somebody for a very long time, and then you have them, and they love you. And they make love to you, but it's not enough. That is the truth about sex. Is that why Peter was lousy in bed? I'm not talking about Peter, Anthony. I'm talking about Marty. I'm talking about Marty. 
Uh, why did you tell me? I wish she hadn't told me. Anthony, you knew. I did not know. How old were you? Young. My whole life. Practically your whole life. I felt left out. Little brothers always feel left out. I feel majorly left out. Is that why you went crazy? No. That's why you went crazy. You were ashamed. I wasn't ashamed. Well, you should be. Don't you be bourgeois, Anthony. I'm not being bourgeois. Don't call me bourgeois just because I know right from wrong. Does Leslie know? Oh. Well, are you going to tell her? No. You're not going to tell her. How can I tell her? You just tell her. Why? So she knows. I'll tell her. Don't. She'll understand. She's from Pennsylvania. Entire towns are related. That's like cousins. So? So you're not cousins. You're twins. <gasps> That explains a great deal. Why mama insists on celebrating our birthdays at the same day. Uh, for example, I thought she was just being chintzy with the party favors. It would be bad enough if you were brother and sister, but twins? <laughs> Your moral outrage is very specific, Anthony. It's like fucking a mirror. Anthony said fuck. I know, I heard. <laughs> Fucking Amir. Oh, that sounds painful. Go upstairs. Go upstairs and tell her, or I'll... What? I'll be really mad. Anthony exits. Jackie O goes to kiss Marty. Don't. What? Do that. Okay. Let's do something else. Let's do mime. No. Guess where I am. I'm in a box and I can't get out. <laughs> well, I'm in a box and I can't get out. Well, I'm sorry. That wasn't a very good mind. <sighs> because I didn't see that at all. Why? Why did you have to tell him? To get him out of the room. What if he tells Leslie? He won't. What if he does? Are you ashamed? Of what? Of us, of what we have. Had. I don't recognize past tense. I'm not ashamed. What are you? I don't know. I, I see other houses. I see other lives in. In what? They're not like mine. They're not like mine either. But they could be. Other lives don't interest me. That's what we always said, but maybe we said that because we thought we couldn't have it. You know, maybe... We should maybe. all move to Pennsylvania? I should go up soon. We're not going to bed until one of three things happen. The hurricane ends, or we run out of rum. That's two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for a brief intermission. We will continue in about five minutes time. Thank you.
set before the American people its goals, its unfinished business. And then throughout the world, appoint the best people we can get. Ambassadors who can speak the language. Not merely people who made a political contribution, but who can speak the language. Bring students here. Let them see what kind of a country we are. I believe it my responsibility as the leader of the Democratic Party in 1960 to try to warn the American people that in this crucial time we can no longer afford to stand still. We can no longer afford to be second best. I want people all over the world to look to the United States again, to feel that we're on the move, to feel that our high noon is in the future. I want Mr. Khrushchev to know that a new generation of Americans who fought in Europe and Italy and the Pacific freedom in World War II have now taken over in the United States that they're going to put this country back to work again. upon us to be the defenders of the United States and the defenders of freedom. To do that, we must give this country leadership and we must get America moving again.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of the House of Yes. We want to remind you to please mute your microphones and turn off your video. Thank you and enjoy. Crossfade, scene six, the guest bedroom. Leslie is unpacking. Anthony stands in the doorway. Uh, I have to talk to you. About what? Stuff. Okay, but I'm unpacking. Can I help? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, why not? Well, there's, you know, girl stuff. Tampons. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Underwear. What did you want to talk to me about? Where did you meet Marty? At a party. What kind of party? Like a party someone has in their house. You know, apartment. What did he say and what did you say? Well, there were no chairs. There were two chairs, boat chairs. <laughs> like the kind of chairs they have on boats. Mm, so Marty was sitting in one and then he got up, you know, to give me the chair. I knew he wasn't from New York. So you fell in love with him? No, I thought he was gay. You did? Why? <laughs> well, everyone is in New York. I mean, not me, but everyone. Men. Uh, and he was so beautiful, you know? Do, do you think I'm beautiful? Well, you look like Marty. I do? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Because we're not exactly sure we had the same father. I mean, my mother always had the same husband, but she was kind of a free spirit, you know, like that. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you? Well, I mean, if it did, it wouldn't change anything. I mean, I don't want to be Buddhistic or anything. Be what? Buddhistic. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> How old are you? 23. Oh, me too. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were younger. <laughs> well, I am. What do you think about sex? Oh, well, I mean, sex is good with the right man, but you have to be careful, you know, especially in New York. Careful? Diseases like that. Mental diseases? No. <laughs> but you should be careful of mental diseases too. I guess. If somebody else fell in love with you right now, what would you do? <laughs> Tell them I was engaged. He wouldn't, he would maybe check it out, see if maybe he's got something to offer or like that. No. <laughs> do I, do I have a fever? Mm. Uh, no. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Can you check again? Well, you're warm, but not like a fever. More like warm. <laughs> it's because I'm sitting next to you. I'm warm because I'm sitting next to you. Anthony? What? You know, like I said. 
Leslie, can I hold your hand? Just, just hold your hand. Okay. <laughs> what, what's that? Mm, a scar. From what? A cheese knife. That's it? That's the story? Yeah, it was cutting cheese. Uh-huh. I have a scar right here. Marty and Jackie were playing French Revolution, and they made me play Marie Antoinette. I believe I have mental scars, too. Mental scar tissue. Marty's probably going to be coming up pretty soon. I, I don't think so. He's with Jackie O. So? Can I hold something else now? Anthony? Can I see your knees? No! I, I like that expression, the bee's knees. Like, I think you're the bee's knees. <laughs> Bees don't have knees. <laughs> uh, tell me about when you lost your virginity. No. Tell me something. I don't know what to tell you. Anything. Oh, uh, in fourth grade, Cindy McKinney, she was this girl. She always wore a purple bra with a white shirt. You know? No. What? <laughs> like she was showing off that she had a bra, you know? Oh. <laughs> I hate people like that. Me too. Cindy McKinney, huh? Yeah. Whatever happened to old Cindy McKinney? I don't know. <laughs> Purple. Oh, I hate that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do I have a fever? I already checked before, twice. <laughs> I know, but this time I really think I have one. <sighs> well, um, you're warm, but not like... I think I have a brain tumor. You do? And you know what the big tragedy of that is? You'll die? Yeah. But I'll die without ever having, you know. You never had? No. Uh, I thought you went to Princeton. Uh, only for two months. Oh, well. It's not that big a tragedy. I mean, unless you're with exactly the right person, it's not that great. <laughs> it's not that great? No. Like, if they smoke, they taste like <laughs> ashes. Like that, or they like stick your tongue in your ear so much you get like chapped ears. Oh, wow. <laughs> or they start and you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Leslie? Huh? I don't smoke. I won't stick my tongue in your ear and if you have to go, we'll just stop. And then when you come back, we'll start again. Anthony, it's too weird. Doing it with two brothers is like incest. Leslie, about incest, I have two words to say to you. Jackie, O, and Marty. Jackie, O, and Marty. How do you know that? They told me. Who told you? Jackie. 
Then Marty, Marty too. Are you okay? No. Sweetie? Why'd you call me that? I don't know. It just came out. My dad used to call me that before. Before what? Before he died. Yeah, I could call that, I could call you that again. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know what to do. I could stay with you. Stay with me? How? Any way you want me to stay with you. With your clothes on? Or off. You look like Marty. And you look like Leslie. Leslie? <laughs> I love you, Leslie. Anthony begins to kiss her hair and her cheeks. She allows him to. She sighs and offers her her lips to be kissed. Miss Pascal appears unseen, watches a cocktail glass in her hand. We hear her amplified sound of ice tinkling in her glass. Blackout, scene seven, the guest bedroom. Anthony is sleeping wearing only boxer shorts. Leslie sits on the side of the bed dressing. Where are you going? To find Marty. He's not in his room. How do you know? When I went to the bathroom, his door was open. Leslie, was I terrible? You were fine. Fine? Just fine. You mean just fine or just fine? It was your first time. It's supposed to last longer, isn't it? Eventually. How, do, how long does Marty last? Anthony. What? That's personal. You won't tell him, will you? <laughs> what? I won't tell him what? About us? No. I don't know. <laughs> Leslie, I'm just worried that if you go down there, you're gonna see something. Oh, I, I know. Um, I'm worried you're gonna see something carnal. Uh, I know. So why put yourself through it? Um, Wait till the morning and then tell him it's over. What's over? It. Well, us? No, him, you and him. It's not over, Anthony. We're over. I know. No, we're over. You and me? Over? How can we be over? <laughs> we just are. Can I have my shoe? No. Fine. Leslie limps out. She closes the door behind her. Anthony hurls the shoe at the door. Crossfade, scene eight, the living room. There is something I've been meaning to ask you. There's this thing I've heard and I thought for one second, if it was true, I'd probably kill myself. Does your fiance work in a donut shop? A 
Donut King, actually. A Donut King. So is she like the queen? Are we entertaining royalty? She would be like a donut lady in waiting. Ah, uh, so she's sort of a, a marginal donut figure. In all fairness, she is a minor and not a major donut figure. Because uh, it's a chain, you see, and they're a woman just like her all over the city. My point exactly. No, my point. My point, Jackie. There are women just like her all over the city. I know that. But this one belongs to me. I have chosen to love her. It wasn't thrust upon me by... by... Destiny? I'm going to bed. Can I come? No. Jackie, I love her. Oh, love. Yes, love, love. I'm tired of being above everything. I want to be a human being. Okay. Let's be human beings. You don't know how. <laughs> you didn't come to my hospital. You didn't come. I, I came. They didn't tell me. It came at night. I stood under your window, watched you put your makeup on, watched you cry it off. And I knew, I knew, I was the one making you crazy. So I left, I went to New York. But I'm not crazy now, I'm better. I watch soap operas, I bake brownies. Normalcy is coursing through my veins. I want you to have a life. I, I want you to love someone you're allowed to love. I miss you. I miss you so much. I miss you. When I was with Peter, I couldn't come without seeing your face. When you make love to that Leslie girl, do you see my face? Sometimes. My face how? From when? The night we went to the party, the Ides of March party. You ran into the room in your slip and pillbox hat. And heels. Oh, I got to wear heels. And on the stockings, the seams. You sat down on the couch. I was waiting for my skirt. The macaroni wouldn't dry the seams of your stockings and then I was afraid. <laughs> so I began the game. <gasps> Marty, look. You look lovely. I have everything. The dress, everything. The dress? The suit. I could put it on. Don't. Not for old time's sake. Leslie may come down. Ah, oh, Leslie won't come down. How do you know? Ah, oh, she won't come down. I have the gun. Oh, put it down. <laughs> There's no bullets, Marty. See for yourself. With the blank, they'll still hear the blank. In the storm? It's getting quiet. We're in the eye. You remember that day? The day of the party? The day he was shot. The radio was on. The TV was on. Mama was crying. And Daddy was gone. And Daddy was leaving. Yeah, finally leaving. She covered him with his body. She tried to keep him there. Tried to keep his head on, but it's falling off. You be him, and I'll be her. I'm him? And I'm her. Jackie O points the gun at him and shoots. He falls in slow motion. They reenact the moments after Kennedy was assassinated. Jackie O cradles Marty's head in her lap. Then she straddles him. Marty slowly sits up as Jackie arches her back and moves in for a kiss. Leslie stands in the doorway watching. Blackout.
Scene nine, the guest bedroom. Leslie enters out of breath, whimpering. She slams the door and leans against it. She looks up and, and starts as she realizes Miss Pascal is sitting on the bed where she'd left Anthony. You're not bleeding. No. Who's bleeding? Nobody. Thank God. Where's Anthony? Why? I have to talk to him. There's croissants in the kitchen. They're filled with something. I forget what. You can eat yours in the cab. I'm not taking a cab. Well, how are you getting to the train? I'm not taking the train. How are you getting back to New York? Marty will drive me. Marty's needed here. <laughs> Marty's needed there. Oh, you'll find a replacement. No, I won't. You already have. Were you spying on us? A mother doesn't spy. A mother pays attention. <laughs> Marty won't let me go without him. He loves me. You're just a symbol to him. A symbol of all that is good and pure. I am not a symbol. Not anymore. <laughs> Please, don't tell him about Anthony. It will only hurt him. It's a little late to worry about hurting Marty. He never has to know. You can see that Jackie O is a very sick girl. She needs her family. She has you. She has Anthony. We're besides the point as far as Jackie O's concerned. Jackie O should learn that she can't always have everything her way. Jackie can have everything her way. She always has. <laughs> Is that how you raise them? People raise cattle. Children just happen. <laughs> they don't just happen. You can read Dr. Spock from now till doomsday, but children just happen all the same. This one has blue eyes and that one's insane. Well. She can't have Marty. Marty's mine. Oh, please. Marty's maybe been sort of yours for six months. He belonged to Jackie for 20 odd years. Very odd. Leave this morning or Marty finds out where you spent the night. Leave now with your symbology intact or stay and lose Marty anyways. So what? If I slept with his brother, he slept with his sister. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Sure, one can never be sure. Don't forget your toothbrush. Blackout, scene 10. A few moments later, Anthony stands where we last saw Miss Pascal. <laughs> Leslie searches the room widely. What? 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 The suitcase. What suitcase? The blue suitcase. My suitcase. Where is it? Under the bed. Uh, do you see them? What? Jackie, Marty. Uh-huh. Was I right? Was it carnal? Yes. No. I don't know. I told you not to go. Didn't I tell you not to go? I'm worried. I'm worried sick. You can't leave like this in a hurricane. I've got to get Marty 
out of here. Can I come? I want to go to New York. I like the way it smells. <laughs> Nobody likes the way it smells. I do. It's like pretzels, street pretzels. You can't come with us. Why? We live in a studio. I'm talking about love and you're talking real estate. I don't love you, Anthony. Fine, pass the salt, pour it on my body, turn me inside out like a slug. What's a slug? You don't know what a slug is? Is it like a potato bug? What's a potato bug? They live under flagstones. Like patios? Yeah. Ah, uh, put that back. What? That hairbrush. It's my hairbrush. It, it is not. It is too. Where'd you buy it? I don't remember. I think I got yeah, it at- right. Macy's. I bought it at Macy's. Put everything back. Don't leave. How can you stay with him when you know you know? I don't know. I don't know. We could go to Pennsylvania. What would we do in Pennsylvania? We could become Amish people. You don't just become Amish. What's the name of your town? You've never heard of it. But I want to hear of it. It's called home. It is not. It is. Really? Really. What does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. It's what it's called. Let's go there. Anthony, I'm not gonna go to Pennsylvania with you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to the 7-Eleven with you. I didn't ask if you wanted to go to the 7-Eleven with me. <laughs> it was an example. For emphasis, I needed a third thing for emphasis. Can you sit on my suitcase? What? Can you sit on my suitcase? Can I sit on your suitcase? You're standing, standing there asking me if I can sit on your suitcase. You're standing there callously asking me if I can sit on your suitcase when you know as soon as that suitcase is latched, you'll swing it off the bed and carry it downstairs and take you and it out of my life. <sighs> to hell with it. Stop smelling my clothes. I will never love another woman. I will go to the desert and only love sand. Sand? What do you mean you'll love only sand? You never go hungry in the desert, Leslie. Do you know why? Why? Because of the sand which is there. Crossfade, scene 11, the living room, the morning after. Marty's tie and Jackie's hat are askew. Their shoes are off, buttons are undone, empty wine bottles and dirty glasses are strewn about. Miss Pascal picks up the glasses. Don't clean, mother. Honestly, don't we have a maid? Not anymore. What happened to her? She quit when you shot your brother. The Kennedys have a maid. The Kennedys have everything. Except for luck. <laughs> I think they're lucky. They're all dead. It's too early in the morning to go all morbid. You'll be sleeping in coffins next and drinking out of skulls. It's been done. So has death. It's been done to death. <laughs> he speaks. <sighs> What's for breakfast? Croissants. They're in the kitchen. They're filled with something. I forget what. Mm, I guess we'll find out. Oh, how exciting. 
<laughs> Don't you find life to be exciting? What is that gun doing there? It's not a gun. It's a camera. It is to a gun? It's a camera that looks like a gun. Give it to me. It's an empty gun. How do you know? I checked. What is it doing there? Being gun-like. Gun-esque. Where did it come from? God. We were taking a trip down memory lane. I want it now. I'll put it away. Marty? I'll put it away. Marty exits with the gun. Mother, you're white as a ghost. You look positively Isbenesque. If it happens again, they'll put you away. Only if someone finds out. He must have family somewhere. What? Leslie! I'm not going to shoot Leslie. Just don't. That's all we need is Marty mooning over some dead girl. She's leaving anyway. When? This morning. Why? I suggested it. And she agreed? More or less. Why would she leave? Maybe we're not her cup of tea. <laughs> is Marty going with her? Don't be silly. If he leaves again, I'll implode. I'll, I'll just implode. He's staying. Where is she now? Packing, I imagine. She's packing? As we speak. What if she forgets something? We'll burn it. Marty re-enters with the gun, or without the gun. Is it away? <clears throat> yes. Did you hide it? I put it somewhere. But did you hide it? Only in the sense that I put it somewhere and no one saw me put it there. If I walked into a room where you put it, could I see it? No. Then it is hidden. Don't worry, Mama. I won't bloody the carpets. Do you actually think I'm worried about my carpets? Aren't you? A little. I had to steam clean the last time, and there's still sort of a shadow. Miss Pascal disappears. Leslie enters with a suitcase. Hi, you're up early. Did you sleep all right? Why are you wearing that costume? Everything else was in the wash. Uh, there's croissants in the kitchen. No pancakes today, I'm afraid. I have to talk to Marty. I wonder about what? <sighs> you were supposed to sneak into my room last night. Uh, yeah, I, I fell asleep. Did you? No, nope. you stayed up. By yourself? With me. The hurricane took the Kennedy stables, the horses got loose, Secret Servicemen were all over the place, wearing sunglasses. And it was I didn't hear any horses. What jumped over the moon? Uh, a cow or a horse? A cow. No. Oh, I, I thought it was a horse. No, a cow. And, and what's the rest of it? Uh, silverware was there involved, I know. Hey, diddle, diddle. Miss Pascal appears carrying a tray of croissants. Leslie, you're up. I see you're all packed. Yes. Can I call you a cab? I don't need a cab. How are you getting to the train station? I'm going with Marty. He's going to drive you. <laughs> He's coming with me. Oh, I don't think so. He can decide for himself. To make a decision, you need all the facts. And I don't think Marty has all the facts. Ah, Anthony, how did you sleep? Did you sleep all right? What? Leslie, how did you sleep? Did you sleep all right? Yes, thank you. Did Anthony sleep all right? 
Why don't you ask him? Marty, why don't you ask your brother how he slept? Why? Jackie, why don't you ask your brother how he slept? How'd you sleep, Marty? Your other brother? <laughs> How'd you sleep, Anthony? What's going on? Leslie stayed with me last night. Ah, a quaint Pennsylvania prenuptial custom. Well, I, for one, am shocked. Young lady, what do you have to say for yourself? She's pleading the fifth. I never cared for that symphony. Wasn't he deaf by then? Call me old fashioned, but I'd say the wedding is off. Just as well. I always cry at weddings. I even cried at mine. I must have had a premonition. Get out. And go where? There, I imagine. I hate to go there. I like to be here. When you go there, it becomes here. It does? Come on, I'll show you. Miss Pascal exits. Jackie O scoops something off the coffee table and follows. If you really cared about her, you wouldn't have brought her here. I wanted to come here. And you did come. Didn't you? Don't. You don't deserve her. Anthony exits. How was he? Uh, uh, um, I, I, I can't tell you. Weren't you there? I was there, but what? I don't. He didn't want you to know. I'll bet. How he was. That good, huh? <laughs> it was his first time. Yeah. Right. He wasn't? What do you think? Well, then why would he say it? To get laid. Well, I'm sorry, but when somebody says something, I tend to think it's the truth. It's just the way I am, the way I was brought up. And if somebody forgets to mention something, I wouldn't think to ask, for example, did you sleep with your sister? Do you think masturbation counts as infidelity? What? When I sleep with me and not you, am I, am I cheating on you? Marty, stop it. I came downstairs before. Before when? During it, the thing. What thing? The thing with the gun and the costume. Oh God. Oh. Why do you do that? Do you want me to leave? You, you gotta help me. <laughs> oh. Just talk me back. T tell me about Sundays. What, what you and <laughs> Sunday. Okay. Um, we, we get up. Right, right. Uh, we get up. Um, what about the alarm? Did the alarm go off? No alarm. It's, um, it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's Sunday. <laughs> um, the digital clock says 1039. I climb out of bed. I pull the comforter over your bare shoulder. The cat is weaving in and out of my leg. <laughs> I feed her. I come back to bed. I stroke your cheek. Oh, my fingers smell like tuna fish. <laughs> I pull you down onto me. You have rings, mascara rings, like a like a football player. 
<laughs> well, you have bad breath. I kiss you anyway. I watch you dress. I feel sad when you buckle your bra. There they go, I think. There they go. <laughs> I lose my other shoe. I find your other shoe. We read menus in the windows on Avenue A. We read the right side. We go to the Mogador. Oh, I forget what eggs Florentine is. Like, like eggs Benedict with spinach? Hmm. The waitress says, toast or pita? Oh. Toast or pita? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what about the newspaper? We forgot to buy a newspaper. Oh, later. Newspaper comes later. We go to a street fair. I buy you a scarf. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you buy me a barrette. A barrette with a bone. Like pebbles, just like pebbles. <laughs> We buy tulips. Pink. Mm -hmm. And a Sunday Times. We go home. It's late afternoon. And the sign comes on. Jesus saves. Mm -hmm. Across the street. Jesus salva. <laughs> we run a bath. You wash my back. Shoulders like wings. Mm. Bird shoulders. <laughs> Marty, I want you to leave with me. I want you to leave with me now. <sighs> yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> It flushes loudly. Jackie O stands in the doorway. I just flushed your car keys down the toilet. Marty, give me your keys. I don't have them. Where's your extra set? In my room. Get them! At home. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call a cab. Where's the phone book? Uh, by the phone. Well, the yellow pages. Uh, underneath. Oh, the phone's dead. Don't look at me. <laughs> Marty's not gonna stay here with you. We're leaving for New York in the morning. I don't care how. Anthony told me about you. He told me what you did to that lizard. Anthony appears in the doorway. Oh, Anthony, not that old lizard story. And I know what else you did. I know where the scar came from. I know why they sent you to the hospital. You are a regular Nancy Drew. You're making fun. You're making him crazy. You want him to be crazy like you. Look at yourself. Look at your clothes. You're making fun of a woman who lost her husband. A man died. A man was murdered. A man who did something for other people. What have you ever done for anyone else? If you really love Marty, think about what his life would be like here in this house. Your mother will die. You'll be left alone. You'll have babies with webbed feet that you bury in the backyard. Where? In the yard. What? Where exactly in the yard? On the croquet lawn? By the bird bath? Marty, 
Where do you think we should bury these babies with wet feet? The backyard is getting very crowded, I think. Positively littered with corpses. First daddies and now dog babies. <laughs> you killed your father? Not me. Mama. No, my father and my mother years ago, the day Kennedy was shot. He tried to leave, but Mama shot him. We buried him by the central air. We were installing the central air. There was a hole in the ground, but not for him, for the air conditioner. She's, she's confused. You're confused, Jackie. He left Mama. He, he called a cab. She covered him with her body. She tried to keep him there. Jackie Kennedy, not Mama. Jackie Kennedy. She tried to keep his head on, but it was falling off. Leslie, go get your suitcase. Leslie exits. Anthony, go with her. Give her her pills, Marty. Which pills? I don't know which pills. She changed pills. Jackie O pulls out the gun. One more time, Marty. For old time's sake. She's got a gun. Get the gun. Only blanks. One more time. And I'll give you the car keys. Ah, uh, here's the blue ones. Try the blue ones. One more time. That's all I ask. And you can go back to the land of the Donut Kings. What does she want? What is she doing? Anthony, go get Mama. Give her the blue ones. I think it's the blue ones. Go. Anthony exits. You be him. Yes. And I'll be her. I'm him. And I'm her. Jackie O lifts the gun and points it at him. He shoots. Three spot spotlights pick up the faces of the other three characters at the moment they hear the gunshot. Marty falls back on the couch. Jackie O drops the gun and falls beside him, cradling his head in her hands. They are both drenched with blood. Their position echoes the position of the Kennedys the moment after the assassination. Miss Pascal drops her cocktail glass. Amplified sound of glass shattering outside the window dies. I believe it incumbent upon the next president of the United States to get this country moving again, to get our economy moving ahead, to set before the American people its goals, its unfinished business, and then throughout the world, appoint the best people we can get, ambassadors who can speak the language, not merely people who made a political contribution, but who can speak the language, bring students to it, let them see what kind of a country 